my name is Georgios Romanos. I'm a professor at the School of Dentistry at the Stony Brook University in New York, in Long Island, at the Department of Periodontics and Endodontics. I enjoy teaching, research, and mentorship. When I see that my young students who become every day older, they get more and more experience, and they publish and they lecture later on and they become leaders in dentistry, this makes me more, you know, rewarding in my field. Periplantitis is a disease of the century and we place more and more implants, but the incidence and prevalence of the periplantitis is continuously increasing. Therefore, I would make the clear statement that periodontal disease has to be treated before we start with treatment planning with, for dental implants. So this is very important to eliminate or to reduce at least the risk factors of peri-implant diseases. In order to be able to have successful treatment, we need to place implants surrounded by healthy residual bone. Sometimes, because we don't have sufficient bone, we are required to use bone grafting. But the bone grafting materials we use has to be material which creates bone in the long term. So we need the bone vascularization, we need the bone grafting material which has good porosity in order to get bone growth and also stability of the particles if we talk about bone particulated grafting materials in order to condense the particles when we graft these areas during the procedure in order to avoid complications. The main advantage of laser therapy is when we excise tissues that we have a very good sufficient hemostatic effect. So patients do not bleed. In addition, the patients have an additional comfort after laser therapy due to the effect that they don't have an, the periodontal pack in their mouth. They can eat conventional food after surgery. They don't have postoperative pain. They don't have swelling in the most of the cases. We use less instruments. We don't need to autoclave many instruments compared to the conventional techniques. We don't need to make uh, sutures. We have hemostatic effect due to the laser we use. The morbidity is less. So if you put all of this in cost-benefit analysis, I would say there is a benefit using lasers. And the other argument in this is, is uh, that if you look how much laser has been applied in dentistry in the last 10 years, the studies are continuously increased. The research we have today is very, very uh, interesting and exciting to see more and more dental schools in the US and across the world, they use lasers. I'm excited to come to the FDI meeting to Sydney in September 2023 to discuss about potential new projects and new opportunities to treat patients in dentistry and to help more and more our students and our community. So I would encourage everybody to go to the FDI meeting and I'm looking forward to meeting you there and to speaking with you about opportunities for our profession.